Hello, Tony Caputo. It's me, Andrew Potter. I have decided to make a video for you, and it's going to be about Tony Canigliere. His name is, of course, Anthony Richard Canigliere, but he's nicknamed Tony C or Corn or Canig or Tony Canigliere. Let's just say it for nickname. Just says it right there. Sorry if I'm showing. It's kind of blurry. All right. I'll read about it. He was an outfielder and a right-handed batter. All right, baseball career. Conigliero was signed by the Red Sox in 1962. At the age of 17, in 1963, he batted .363 with 24 home runs in the New York Penn League and was subsequently called up to the majors. During his 1964 rookie season, Conigliero... Point two batted 2.90, point two ninety, excuse me, with 24 home runs and 52 RBI in 111 games, but broke his arm and toes in August. In his first at bat in Fenway Park, Coniglio hit a towering home run in the second inning against the White Sox. In his sophomore season in 1965, Coniglio led the league in home runs becoming the youngest home run champion in American League history. He was selected for the All-Star Game in 1967. In that season, at age 22, he not only reached a career total of 100 home runs, but attained the milestone at the youngest age for an American League player. On August 18, 1967, the Red Sox were playing the California Angels at Fenway Park. Excuse me. Conigliero batted against Jack Hamilton, was hit by a pitch on his left cheekbone, and was carried off the field on a stretcher. He sustained a line of fracture of the left cheekbone and a dislocated jaw with severe damage to the left retina. The batting helmet he was wearing did not have a protective ear flag. That has become standard. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> A year and a half later, Conigliero made a remarkable return, hitting 20 homers with 82 RBI and 141 games, earning Comeback Player of the Year honors. In 1970, he reached career-high numbers in home runs and RBIs. That season, he and his brother Billy formed two-thirds of the Red Sox outfield. After a stint with the Angels in 1971, he returned to the Red Sox briefly in 1975 as a D8, but was forced to retire because his eyesight had been permanently damaged. Conigliero batted .267 in 162 home runs and 501 RBI during his 802-game Reds career. With the Angels, he hit .222 with 4 home runs and 15 RBI in 74 games. He holds the MLB record for most home runs excuse me, hit by a teenage player. He is the second youngest player to hit his 100th homer after Mel Oat in 1931 and the youngest American League player to do so. Here are his final years. The final years he was around. In September of 1975, after his retirement, Conigliero was hired by WJR TV 10 in Providence, Rhode Island, as a sports anchor. In August of 1976, he moved to a similar position at KGO TV Channel, Se Channel 7 in San Francisco. On January 3rd, 1982, <coughs> excuse me, Conigliero in Boston. In Boston, to interview for a broad division, suffered a heart attack while being driven to the airport by his brother Billy. Shortly thereafter, he suffered a stroke and lapsed into a coma. Conigliero remained in basically a vegetative state until his death more than eight years later. <laughs> He lived these final years at his parents' home in Nahant, Massachusetts. 
In February 1990, he died in Salem, Massachusetts at the age of 45. In, in commemoration, in commemoration, excuse me, I'm sorry if I had to pronounce correctly, Tony. The Red Sox wore black armbands that season. He is buried in Holly Cross Cemetery in Malden, Massachusetts. Currently, the Tony Canigliere Award is given annually to the player who best overcomes obstacles and advertises through the attributes of spirit, determination, and, cur and courage that were considered Tony's trademarks. The end. What date? I will be doing a Q&A question right now. When did Tony Canigliere die? He died on February 24th in 1990. He threw right and he batted. He was a right-handed thrower and a right-handed batter. And he played on the Boston Red Sox 1964 to 1967 and 1969 1970 because he had to miss the entire 1967 season because of an injury because of a, after he got beamed in the eye by a pitch. And he had to miss the entire 1968 season with blurred vision and headaches. When he, when he played a year at the California, he played on the California Angels in 1971. But his vision went downhill in 19... Because he missed four years with the, with the Angels. And his career, he would make a comeback after his injury, but his career was never the same. He returned to the Boston Red Sox in 1975, but was forced to retire because his eyesight had been permanently damaged. Which means he could no longer see out of that eye. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, Tony Caputo. And thank you for watching. And I will see you in school. Bye.